Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had that new CEO that starts the academy next week, smash that subscribe button. Go and have them smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons. MCC Placa, Ricardo, Mel Adjusted, Bankroll Suave, Mickey Bats, Carmine the Pitbull, American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, Ruben, Cornbread Killer, Herbuma AZ, CJ Savalza, EOP Whisper, Fuck Your 602, Las Vegas Flights Live, Give Me Two Good Coughs, Armando, Abuelita's Journey, Abuelita's Irma, Priya These Nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Bond, La Reina, Hernan, Don't Trip, Winston, Tony, The Mexican Snowman, Breathing Underwater, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead With Love, Elber 12, AI Vega, Feel The Little Drummer Boy, Esquiel, Big Bad 48, JT, Nova, Linda, The Retired CO, Michigan Wolverines, Mikey 559, The Homie Marius, Chevelle 66, Gigi, and Dallas Herrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below. I'm telling you, you're definitely missing out. This episode right here, man, just like I stated in the beginning, there will be an academy next week for the California Department of Corrections. What do you have to say about that, Nestor? Well, you've already made the decision. You've already made the decision. You know, contrary to what you've heard, that's good, that's good, man. You're going to go see for yourself, all right? So now, the only thing I can do is lead you to the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance, as we used to say in the military when we are kicking in doors. What to expect, how to conduct yourself, what to do, what not to do. Male or female. Does it differ? It does. It truly does. You should probably think it doesn't. We're not going to get into it. This is, this is based on 100% facts over everyone's career. You ain't going to, you're not going to manipulate the system. You're not going to beat the odds. All right. <sighs> Day one, do not dress like a scumbag. I don't give a fuck if everybody wears cut off shorts now, long hair, backwards hat, beards. Dress appropriate. I don't care, man. We got to bring it back. Um, Wear a fucking suit. You really want to blow people out of the water? Just do it, man. I'm telling you. We need to bring that shit back. Anyhow, damn, Hector, you're old school. We don't do that anymore. Move on. Okay, fine. Look like a sack of shit on your first day. That's a real way to send a message. Imagine if I was a lieutenant at the academy. I will eat your ass a lot. I will embarrass you in front of all your peers, right? Maybe there's still people with that type of mentality. Remember, you you applied for a law enforcement career. Damn, Hector. Yeah, it's called professionalism. So then, now you showed up looking super sharp with all your paperwork in hand. God forbid you don't bring the paperwork that's required. You look like a fucking idiot, right? You can't even show up on day one with the fucking documents required. Damn, they be checking paperwork on the first day. Yeah. <laughs> whatever it is, identification, uh, driver's license, passport, whatever they ask, man. I don't know. I'm not in the loop. That was 17 years ago for me. And you're looking nice. You're standing good. Ought to be in Hollywood. You got your paperwork keistered up your ass like Wes Watson. Holy shit, Hector, you had to throw that in there. You're going to sit in some little chairs, the little drill sergeants. They're going to have their little hats. They're going to, like, try to yell at you. Now, if you've been through the military, this is negative 25 ten tenacity. If you never have been, probably, uh, I mean, if you ask me, the real world is more crazier than, anyhow. Those sergeants that are going to be there, it's going to vary, man. You're going to have sergeants, look at their little, uh, should I put them on blast? Ah, yeah, I'm going to put them on blast. Why not? Look right here at their left sleeve, right? If they got one hash mark, that means they got a total of three years up to five years in the department. Got to question yourself. How much experience did they have, right? Unless they were fighting inmates every single day on the basketball court at Centinella, 120 degree weather. I used to use that line. Which I doubt, because go back three years, I would have put us in 2020. Shit hit the fan in 2013, 2014. Impossible, right? They're going to tell you how to run prison when they don't know how to run prison. No disrespect. 
Hey, maybe you got two. Still, should you really be having six to eight years instructing new line staff? Well, heck, who the hell are you? The instructor God? Just putting things in perspective for you. And then I'll go over my academy instructors, who they were, what they were about. Same shit. Now, you got a motherfucker with some crusty ass all the way up to his shoulder. You know that motherfucker's been around the block, then some. Dude is that dude or girl is probably just trying to ride out their career right off into the sunset. Kudos to them. They're doing it smart, man. They took themselves off the line at the prison. They're just fucking, hey, come here, you little rat bastard. Yeah. God bless you, vaya con Dios, right? And they're not going to teach you no old school tricks because that'll get you fucking fired. So they, you're there to learn policy and procedure. You're there to learn the law in a very, very short amount of time. The time given to you to learn is not going to be the amount of time required to actually perform your duties. Think about that. In 13 weeks, you can't know it all. Plus, you're doing other shit. Arrest and control technique where you say, come here, bad guy. Put your hand behind your back. You part, you, uh, you train with a partner, a buddy, a guy and a girl. We'll get into that, man. We'll get into that. You think you have a little slick wheelie in your pants or a little hot pussy in your pants, right? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell did the son of a bitch just say? <laughs> yeah, a slick wheelie or a hot pussy. Trust me, they come out at the academy. That's where it starts. We're going to get there. <sighs> Should we get there now? I already brought it up, man. Okay. This is not legal advice. This is not. This is solely a prison guard with experience telling you, advising you. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do shit. Advising you of what not to do. Okay. And we're going to start with the most important part. If you're a female. Oh, fuck. If you're a female and you have a beautiful family at home and you got a husband right do not do not i'm just gonna say this do not leave your husband for anybody period now i know what you're thinking oh no hector me and my man got a better love story than the notebook than the twilight me and my man are like the movie my girl with Macaulay Culkin, he got stung up by the bees. That was a rat motherfucker was allergic. He fucking inflated and died. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Right, I know what you're thinking, man. Me and my vato, we did a pinky promise in the eighth grade that we were going to death do us apart. And we're, we're riding together to the very end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's till a motherfucker like me comes along. What the hell? There's some dogs out there in this fucking world, right? There's some dogs out there that all they want is to get into as many vaginas in there as humanly possible. What the hell, heck? This fucking episode has just disgusted me and turned a turn for the worse. Do not leave your fucking family. Your husband for any mother fucker. Trust me. If I had a dollar for every female that left their husband after becoming a CO, I would have $250 million. There's something. There's something in the there's something that happens. And don't yeah, I know what you're, you're not going to listen to me. You're not going to listen to me. Save this video, this episode. Go back in two years when you're by yourself talking about how ain't no man can handle you. Right? You got the eyelashes, the big lips, and the ass. Tr Damn, heck, you motherfucker. You're on point. Should I keep going? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say it for the third fucking time. Don't do it. Okay, now what if you're a guy, Hector? Should you be sleeping around and putting your little wet wheelie where it doesn't belong? <sighs> All right. Well, it depends, man. I mean, it depends. If you're single, or what if you're a single female? 
Yeah, but I've never seen it. Usually, 99.999999% the females that go into corrections that I've seen that fucking... Damn, I'm getting a cramp in my side. Jesus is telling me to slow down. They were married, right? Married, not buried. Now, if you're a single female, by all means, man, go startle. I'm not even kidding. If I, if I were you, this is what I would do. If I were the female CEO, I would startle OnlyFans, sell pictures of my feet, my titties, my ass. I would fucking go both ways for sure. Um, I would start hooking up with a sergeant at the academy. Mando, mandatory. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure I get an A plus without any effort. Um. And I would just rack them up, right? I would have a kid from a lieutenant, a kid from a sergeant, a kid from a CO, and just bounce, medically retire, or just quit, resign. And then you're set for the rest of your life. Go start your dream hobby. <laughs> you're a fucking dick, character. <laughs> that is a foolproof fucking plan if you're a single fo- with female. Foolproof. I was telling my mom yesterday, if I was a woman, holy shit. She's like, you would be rich, huh? Oh, mom. Oh, my God, I would have doctors. <laughs> Anyways, the fuck? If you were a fucking single female, do as you please. If you're a single male, do as you please. Just don't fucking knock somebody up. You don't want that. You don't want that. Holy shit. And she's not the one. She's not the one. Well, how do you know she's not the one? I fucking just know it. She's not the one. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, pull out. <laughs> That's some good advice. Pull out. I don't give a fuck. I would say take the plan B. Go If you don't pull out, go get the plan B at the Walgreens. But they be lying, trifling ass, malicious ass liars. They'll be like, mm, yep, I, I took the plan B. Anyways, be very cautious. If you're going to bump nasties in the academy, it ends horribly. Not all the time. Well, no, it it's not a good idea. All right. Study for the examinations. The examinations are written examinations. You're going to learn the material the day before the test, right? You're going to learn all kinds of shit. How to sweep a fucking fire extinguisher from left to right at a certain distance. You're going to learn about, you know, you're going to have the post exam penal code. That one it was not as hard as all the other ones for me. You're going to have a question that says, like, what gives you um, probable cause, right? If you're a helicopter pilot and you drive over the fuck in somebody's backyard, you see a marijuana field. Does that give you probable cause to hit the house? I don't know. C, right? C can never go wrong with just circling C. <laughs> Physical fitness. Non-existent. Minimal. Yoga stretches, do these, hey, recruit, put your fucking fingers up and down. There you go. Two minutes in, you're done for the day. Go get showered, dress, eat some breakfast. We're going to go hit the classroom, period. Since I went on a tangent about pussy and nuts, I'm going to kind of wrap it up with, I'm going to kind of, what the hell, I'm going to kind of wrap it up with, uh, do not do not get yourself kicked out of the academy don't do it things that will get you kicked out of the academy are bumping nasties in the parking lot and getting caught by the sergeant no don't do that probably missing curfew there's like a 10 p.m 11 p.m curfew or there should be you're a grown-ass adult right 21 21 and above bring your ass back into the I want to call it barracks. You know, that you're going to go to Galt, right? Your boy right here went to the Stockton Level 4 Academy. Not to toot my own horn. Don't make him like me anymore. So you're going to be in a dorm with other dudes or chicks. Bring earplugs. I never, that's, I had my own cell. Cell 236, single cell. I actually, we, the people that went to the Stockton Academy slept in a fucking prison. In an actual cell. Which is fine, because just a couple months before I was in jail. A real jail. In a dorm. With some level, with some active ass vodkas. Yeah, I'm not a bitch. Anyways, yeah, it was GP for sure. <laughs> oh man, bring your little ear. Them motherfuckers that snore, fart, 
and do all kinds of weird shit. Um, oh, the whole thing. Don't get kicked out of the academy, right? Do not get in. To fuck. Okay, make contacts, right? You're, you're going to have people going to different prison. Exchange cell phone numbers because it's going to come in handy. For instance, man, I'm out of the academy now. I got people all over the fucking department. Hey, this is happening at this prison. This is happening at this prison. Cool. What's up, dude? How's everything? Good. You? Cool. So make contacts, right? Contacts. You're going to need to know what's happening at other institutions because that's going to eventually be at your institution. Calipat is living in Calipatria is in the is is in the blind, man. They think that whatever's happening in the rest of the state is not going to happen to them because they've had it so good for so long. Oh, it's just a matter of time, man, before they're giving inmates capucci rides. Capucci rides in the front and the back 69ing. It's just a matter of time. Just wait. Anyhow, this was a very, very sexual um, episode. And I think because when I think academy, I think sexual. Oh, you're a dick, Hector. My wife's, my wife's going to the academy. Gee. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not a fucking. This is what I'm not. A marriage counselor, a legal ad, ad, advice giver. What is fucking telling you? The path of least resistance. Again, man. So, make contacts, but don't... For instance, I'm going to give you an example. There was a CO or a candidate at the academy. This dude was in the shower, right? Motherfucker was hung like a horse. And I mentioned this in another academy because I was at Donovan. Dude was hung. Motherfucker was packing some heat down there one of the candidate buddies looked over and said damn bro you're gifted g shit went around running telling everybody hey this fool right here this fool right here g motherfucker selling bubble gum down there man anyhow that would be a compliment to the majority of people right well you got to remember this 2023 he did not appreciate it he fucking filed it Sexual harassment, EEO complaint, the whole gamut, right? All of those individuals went under investigation at the fucking academy. This is the truth. <laughs> Reminded me of a story. Anyhow, those all individuals all touched down at Donovan, the majority. They were all under investigation. They were brand new candidates, brand new CEOs, sparkling ass jumpsuit, green. Fuck. And I'm like, hey, where are you going? Like, oh, I have to go up to the front, LT. I have an uh, OIA investigation. OIA investigation? You got here yesterday. Yeah, some bullshit happened at the academy. I can't talk about it. I'm like, oh, holy shit, that's intense. Anyway, you know, rumor mill spit uh, goes around. Yeah, that's what had happened. At least fool's getting booked. I think a dude got fucking fired over that shit right out the gate. Anyways, don't do that, man. Remember Rat Driguez? You guys like Rodriguez. I'm going to bring you guys back a Grenya special for Christmas. Rodriguez got a... We were in formation. He didn't have any friends except one guy. Somebody threw a rock at the back of Rodriguez's head in formation. I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? Bunch of kids. I'm telling you, man. You get into an environment like that is you just try to let loose. Don't let loose too much. Don't. I'm telling you, don't do it. Just get stay away from that kind of shit behavior. I think I might have been the one that threw the rock. <laughs> I'm fucking telling you from experience, right? Fucking threw a rock, hit him, and he fucking turned around. Who hit me? Who was it? Who hit me? And we're like, oh, shit. Right? We didn't expect we didn't expect that because he's now pu putting us on front street. Dude's like, everybody's in formation. You got the sergeants, like, within earshot. And this dude's making a scene. Motherfucker, dry snitching. Who hit me? Who was it? Oh, fuck. All of us were like, oh, shit. So then I think the guy next to us was his only friend, right? His only friend. And I think he seen, like, what was happening. So he's like, oh, it was me, man. It was me, Rodriguez. And then he, like, let loose. Like, it was weird. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, he just thought because his friend hit him in the head with a rock, it was okay. Had it been anybody else, it wouldn't have been okay. So, you can deal with weird shit like that. Um, With that, don't get kicked out of the academy. Don't bump nasties. 
make contacts, study for examinations, uh, listen to your sergeants, take it at face value, man. I'm not going to disrespect your sergeants, your lieutenants, your captains. They're there to teach you the book. All right. Now, one of them, it never fails. It never fails. You're going to have a motherfucker telling war stories from hell. Oh, I was knee deep in grenade pins in Calipatria State Prison, level four. What year, Sergeant? What year? 2021. Nah, that's not possible, man. They stopped fighting years ago. Anyhow, just watch, observe, like, oh, shit, Hector was right on this one. Look at this. Oh, damn, girl. I noticed that when you started the academy, you were wearing a wedding ring, and now you ain't, girl. Anyways, all right, with that, that's the whole message for the day, man. Do the right thing. Keep pushing forward.